from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Aaron Reeves. Ready of the weather forecast, I want to help you with the whole serving of just like the absolute cutest thing ever. Here, check this out. Look at this photo. This comes from Lori. This is brownie and Oreo in the Tulsa area here, just keeping cool, munching away at that beautiful looking watermelon. That looks really tasty. I don't know which one this is, but this one's kind of looking over there. You know, I don't know if I want to eat this one. I want that one. That one looks better. But thank you so much for that photo. Such a cute photo. Little, uh, little goats there. Thank you so much for that. All right. Temperatures today, they were pretty toasty. We're still warm, 88 in Tulsa, 89 in Dallas, Las Vegas, though. I mean, still 100 degrees. I'd say that's a good place for it, better them than us, right? <laughs> we do need some rain. We do need some cooler weather, though, and hopefully we can get some here. Our showers southeast of us have kind of really fizzled out. One left here along I-40 there in uh, Muskogee County. That's it. But we do have a band of dying showers, and I mean, they are fizzling quickly, uh, but they could hold together just enough to provide us a few showers in the morning. Uh, but once again, notice they're west of Salisaw fading quickly. Uh, to the northwest, though, northwestern Oklahoma, we do have this line of thunderstorms. Notice, though, continuing the week and one pretty potent area of it, though, heading into Wichita. Not severe, won't be when it gets here, most likely. Just maybe a few showers by dawn tomorrow. Uh, hopefully we can get it. Maybe a downpour if we're lucky. Otherwise, we'll be st uh, turning our attention to Sunday afternoon with the heating of the day and that boundary in the area. We could see a few scattered showers and storms develop. If that happens, it'd be about 30-40% coverage, and one or two of those could be strong, too severe briefly. It's a low threat, but if it happens, once again, 60 mile per hour winds and one inch hail, so that would lead to marginally severe weather conditions, and we, of course, will be here to keep you posted on that. Notice our showers out west, I mean, they, they continue to weaken as they move eastwards, so uh, kind of not a lot of hope with those, but once again, can't rule out some of those holding together as they get into our neck of the woods tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll see scattered showers and storms develop. Uh, one or two strong, otherwise 90, 92 degrees will be kind of where we'll be tomorrow afternoon. Those will die out once they lose their daytime heating. Then as we head into tomorrow, or Monday morning rather, we're looking at 70s again and then just kind of rinse and repeat. Hang back up on the clothesline and we'll see showers and storm again as we head into Monday afternoon. Lesser on Tuesday, but still can't roll one out. 90s, 90s Wednesday, and we'll peak out around mid 90s before we start to maybe get a little cooler weather back in here. All in all, not widespread heavy rain, but one or two, maybe some scattered locations get some decent rain out of this. All quiet downtown right now, temperature 88, heat index 90. As we take a look at what we're expecting as the rest of the temperatures across the state, cooler in the northwest where the rain is, most of the rest of us 70s to 80s. Uh, going forward, we're talking about temperatures near to eventually a little stretch here above normal, uh, but not too too bad. It'll be hot. I mean, it's August hasn't gone anywhere yet, but at least not excessively hot and the, the humidity value is not too crazy. Rain chances early in the week and then maybe toward the middle of next weekend. In between that, it'll be slim pickings. And for most of us, we're really not going to get that substantial rain that we really need. But there will be some locations that do get locally heavy rain. Midnight, 83, we're starting to cool off 75 tomorrow morning. And then as we go on into tomorrow afternoon, we're talking about low 90s, scattered showers and storms. Going forward from there, we do see the rain gradually end on Tuesday. Temperatures go up a bit before maybe another hope towards next weekend. That's that. Now let's take a look at sports after the break.